welcome everybody to our class today in our class we will continue the chapter the desert region okay today we will discuss about the animals life and the people of the life of the people in desert regions okay so let's start before starting uh, the class please everybody those who are still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel okay so let's start first animals life we will discuss about in the desert region you know that animals that live in a desert have adaptations to cope of the lack of water and extreme temperature and the shortage of food to avoid the heat uh, many of them burrow beneath the surface when they live they prefer to live in the um, uh, surface okay uh, uh, under the surface or hide in the shade during the day because of the extreme heat only they uh, um, out from their uh, hideout uh, in the uh, night at night okay and most desert animals are very small and they do not have to drink much water at all they get all the water they need from their food the animal food um, uh, is th- is there also the source of water the animal found in saudi arabia, uh, saudi arabia is the different type like uh, you know that the swift runner uh, and uh, what is that there are the few examples like gazelles like jackals fox these are the swift runner when I mean, they can run very quickly um, in the desert uh, to find their food Arabian horses are the world famous and are also known for their faithfulness and swiftness okay next one the borrowers those who are lived in the um, holes in the under the ground okay so the snakes uh, scorpions which cannot run fast they hide themselves under the sand during the hottest uh, uh, time of the day and come out at night in the search of their food the animals and their uh, adaptations here you know the uh, camel is known as you all of you know that uh, the camel is known as the sheep of the desert and can stay without food water for many days and their padded food uh, f- uh, feet do not sink into the uh, sand and help them to move quickly or easily in the desert without any difficulties and their transport and thick a uh, transparent and thick eyelid also help and the nostril also help them to prevent the sand uh, going inside into their eyes and their nose okay their tongue are the and the mouth are so um, rough so they can easily eat the thorny bruises that have the thorn on them the they can easily eat them that type of plants okay they the water they drink is stored into their stomach and the food they eat is stored in the form of fat uh, in their hum you know that each and uh, that camels have their hum okay that is actually fat okay next uh, one that is the native animals here these animals uh, like the uh, wild cat like the fox like the baboon wolves um, hyenas these are found actually in the mountain highland mountainous highland small bird like the bustard the pigeon squirrel are also found in the areas where the waste is present that means the area where the underground water present okay coastal area along the red sea that regions is rich um, uh, uh, minerals like um, uh, marine rich marine uh, life consistence um, of the uh, flamingos a uh, pelican these kind of bl- uh, birds okay they are are also known as the native animals okay so these are the all about the animals of the desert region now here we discuss about the life of the people in the desert regions okay you know the 
because of the huge heat uh, temperature the sun um, and the severe cold weather uh, and the in the night and the scarcity of water make the life of the peoples is miserable and also one of the most important things sandstorm that is uh, also known as simos that blow in summer also affect the life of the people the people of saudi arabia are categorized to their lifestyle according to their lifestyle like number 1 that is the nomadic herders who are they these are the nomadic people who travel from one place to another place in the search of food shelter for their animals these are these peoples are also called bedouins okay they are the native of saudi arabia and they speak in arabian language okay they keep head of the um, camels goat sheep horses okay so these animal provide them milk meat hide skin uh, okay etc and bedouins do not have permanent house they always moving from one place to an another place okay they travel uh, across the desert in groups on uh, uh, camels in caravans okay they they uh, their house is called caravans you know that they are um, tent like house they moving from one place to another place the pitch temporary tent when they find the po- uh, pastures land for their animals okay another one once the land get dried up they then move out from the another places okay they carry uh, goods uh, which they tread um, on camels like they make carpets they make ropes mats etc with animal skin so bedouins wear the law uh, and they, they dress like they wear the law, uh, long loose white cotton cloths and ground and called that is called throbs and which they cover their whole body another number one type of people in uh, uh, saudi arabia that is native people native uh, herders number two that is the settle cultivator settle cultivator the people of saudi arabia who lived in the in or around the oasis okay lead a settle life they are mostly farmer they grow maize millet uh, wheat cotton uh, sugar cane and many kind of fruits uh, and vegetables okay date plums are the most important trees that can grow in around the you already know around the oasis um, uh, this kind of plant mainly go date plum okay this plum provide drinks and the building materials to build their um, houses okay and these people live in a village and have the well dug uh, for uh, water these water are well protected by the high walls to save them from the getting polluted by the sand and the dust so these their houses are closely built their inner walls are covered uh, with the straw um, which protect them from the heat and they have in the, that region settled uh, cultivated uh, regions in that regions or the ways around the oasis around the regions you can find school market mosque in the center of the village next one city dwellers okay city dwellers saudi arabia has reached the depositions of minerals like gold silver copper zinc lead iron lot of um, minerals are there, found there the other minerals explored the country included the platinum tin chrome uh, nickel um, titanium and the precious stone also found there the discovery of the petroleum in saudi arabia has changed the uh, country dramatically or drastically it has the largest petroleum depositions in the world and it is now the richest countries in the world petroleum is known as liquid gold for its great economic value you know the petroleum day by day the prices increases okay 
so um, uh, that's why the petroleum uh, also uses each and every uh, place like the in industry like in transportation system so uh, because of this economic value this um, petroleum also known as the white, uh, liquid gold when petroleum refined it provide petrol diesel kerosene um, and uh, we uh, write of spirit and uh, lubricants etc okay you can find this in the city dwellers region next one we uh, in 1937 large oil reserves uh, are also discovered in the pl uh, uh, place of riyadh in saudi arabia uh, today the today the country is the world largest producer and exporter of oil here oceans a linear such as the oil tanker cargoes uh, passenger linear and the fishing boat carry out trade across the large waterway and the red sea and the country economic has changed the life of the people okay and the modern cities with the skyscraper all facilities school um, uh, college hospital industry market road airport all are built there okay and many people from the village have settled in this uh, cities and riyadh is the capital of saudi arabia and major commercial city here you have to remember jadha uh, okay which is also busy seaport saudi arabia still uses much uh, of the profits from the oil exporter to improve the transport and the communication systems of the country and the as well as the standards uh, living of the people okay and next we will discuss about the religions and the culture you know the most of the people in saudi arabia are islam okay the two important pilgrim center here one is makka and another one is medina these are located here muslim from all around the world visit the holy city at least once in their lifetime try to visit in that place uh, at least one in their lifetime al um, ardha al ardha is the country's national dance what is this kind of dance you know the sword dance this is based on the ancient bedouin traditions as the men always carry sword with them so and uh, so this is the sword dance this is named name as al ardha and here in this time drummer play rhythm and singer sing song uh, and they dance okay next one is the language you know here in the saudi arabia the main language is arabic most of the people speak in the arabic language and it is also written language of the uh, sacred book of muslim that is quran and the one of the official language of united state or united uh, nation sorry un not state uh, official language of uh, un i hope all of you understood this is all about the um saudi arabia uh, uh, animals life and the people's uh, life in the desert okay i hope all of you understood if you have any queries please let me know uh, please comment below and if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you